Yep. Well, welcome back, everybody. I'm going to be showing you how to put on some corner bead. You know, we used to do corner beads much differently than we do now. Before, it was all nailed on. And you had to put a piece of metal corner bead on and nail it on both sides, about every eight inches apart, all the way up and down. It was a lot of work. Now, they invented this stuff called Super Wide Tape One Corner Bead. And uh, this is Sheetrock brand. This is USG Sheetrock brand. But they make a, a few different brands. It just stops all of the sediment cracks that you have today. Um, it's some wonderful stuff. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. A lot of people think you got to sit there and fill this whole thing in. You don't. What you got to do is you got to mud up each side, though, all the way up and down, both sides, and uh, and then. Need a pick bucket. Now I understand these are nine foot ceilings, so I had to put two buckets together so I can reach nine foot. Otherwise, I can't reach nine foot. Um, I was told one day, "Oh, you're the bucket walker. You're the bucket walker because I can't. I can walk on a bucket. I've been doing it for years, and it's not hard to do." Okay. Let's see. A little bit more mud there. And then I set it in, and I just check it. I want to make sure that this is straight, OK? So I want to make sure that I'm lining this up and down, and it looks really straight. And then I just wipe it out, OK? And it looks good. I mean, this, this looks really good. When this sets, it's ready to coat, and you're done with it. No more nailing. No more trying to keep it straight with the nails. Um, I was working on this one project, and, and the builder was advertising no nail pops, no nail pops. But that's because he wanted everything done with screws. You can't put corner bead on with screws. You put a screw in, it pulls it one way. You put it in the other way, it pulls it the other direction. You had to nail the corner bead, and it was so hard to convince this guy, you can't do it with screws. Okay. Now, this is the homeowner's way of doing this, and the reason I'm saying that is because what I have to put corner bead on, I got a pop right up here, I got fixed. But what I have to put corner bead, corner bead on is a hopper. Yes, I said it. Hopper. I got a hopper. A hopper's made this that much easier. It's really easy with a hopper. This is a hopper here. And what you do, is you slide it through, this has got mud in it, and you slide this through, and mud's up both sides, comes right out like that, nice and full of mud. Then I can take it, put it in place, make sure it's straight, eye it up and down, make sure it's nice and straight, and then I have a roller. So the roller goes with the hopper. I love that word. It's the hopper. All right, and I just roll it down. All right, done. I have these two here that I put on. Because this is a return like this, you can't do one side and then the other side. You really need to do both sides at the same time, and I'll show you why, okay? Because as I muddied these up and did this, I, uh, I was checking just to make sure the hopper was going to be working properly. Now I just take this long knife and I wipe the tops down like that, right? Then I just have to worry about the low stuff. The low stuff I'll use my, my low knife with. So, and I'll wipe those down. Very easy, very, very simple. Anybody can put corner feet on today. You know, before this stuff, uh, I'm telling you, you had to be good at corner beads because you didn't want just anybody putting corner beads on. That's why I had to do both sides. If I did one side, I'm going to be tying in one side. I wanted to be able to wipe both sides down at the same time. And that's why I did that. And uh, that's it. Now, if this was bullnose corner bead, bullnose has got the big round nose on it, I can use the exact same roller that I just used 
I can run it through this hopper. I have different rubber, different rubber grommets that go in here that are rounded that the bolo slips through. And all I have to do is roll it. I don't have to wipe it because the little bit of mud that's here isn't going to matter. It's all going to coat in anyway. So that's how you put corn beads on today. It's simple, much simpler than it used to be. Hey, I want to thank you for watching. Um, I hope it's educational. I hope you've learned something. Uh, so if you really like what you see, please subscribe.